Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a new keyboard from a known brand. Now I don't usually take a look at full size keyboards. Um, no particular reason other than, I mean, I just don't use them that much anymore. I know there's still a lot of people that do, um, but I've kind of found my niche between a TKL and a numpad or an 1800. But there are, I'm probably missing out on some of the full size keyboards. So when Royal Kludge reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to take a look at our new full size? I was like, yeah, let me do something different and take a look at a full size keyboard. So Royal Kludge has been kind enough to provide me with the RK920. Um, again, as I usually do with a lot of these uh, reviews, I don't do much, if any, looking up about the keyboards. I mean, I might see some pictures or, you know, they usually provide a picture and a link and I'll just like do a quick, you know, browse over. But I like to kind of open them up and share, you know, either my excitement or my disappointment or just my reaction to the keyboard. So again, that's the, the key with this one. I see that it is called the RK920 Rainbow. It is wired. I think my printer finally decided to print there in the background. So today we're taking a look at the RK920 and it says that it's rainbow, wired, brown switches, and white. So let's see what we've got. I don't have many nails. <laughs> So we have just a keycap puller. So is this a non-hot swap? I guess we'll see. Got a user manual. And we have a corded keyboard. Wow, it's been a minute since I've seen a corded keyboard, but I have actually ported a few um, keyboards. It's actually, I've been meaning to, I started to design a 3D print that would slide on to a lot of these openings because there's, you can see there's already like a little opening there and it's really only four wires um, and getting the USB connectors are like $3 on Amazon. It really is a simple replacement. Perhaps I will come back to this one and do it. Now this is a, fairly light keyboard and by looking at it I am going to assume since it's corded and it did not come with a switch puller I'm going to say that it's probably not hot swap so I'm going to try not to break the switches but yeah that switch isn't coming out so we have a corded non hot swap keyboard from Royal Kludge so um now I did say rainbow does that mean it's rainbow LED Let's find out. It does appear to be a rainbow keyboard. I wonder why that one, huh? Oh, because this is white and that's blue. It does look like we have a rainbow LED. Now, for those who don't know the difference between RGB and rainbow, RGB means that every LED is able to do the 16.7 million colors. With rainbow, they have gone ahead and arranged single color LEDs in a rainbow type pattern. So let me see, it should have some effects. All right, backlight switching function. So it's gonna have effects between like dimming and kind of doing a roll. But as we can see, all the keys have only a single color background.
So with the rainbow LED keyboard, you're not going to be able to do a, uh, say if you wanted a single color or obviously you no know, per key RGB. Um, now we see that the user manual, it's just really a page folded over. Um, we have your normal controls over here uh, with the function keys. Uh, let's see if we have a Windows in a Mac mode. We do have a restore function in escape and it blinks three times. We also have the brightness. We have Windows Lock, we have Speed, and the multiple dynamic effects. And there's specific gaming modes. So FN, oh, FN1 is LOL gaming mode. FN2 is FPS gaming backlight mode. FN3 is eight key gaming backlight mode fn4 is 33 key and fn5 is overwatch now it does have a custom backlight setting but again you're only going to be able to turn on and off certain keys you're not going to be able to change the color on them uh, they do have a link for the driver um, and i guess i'll take a quick look at it to see if we can do any reprogramming but off the bat, it seems like we have a standard keyboard. We have the num lock. For being a, a stock keyboard, I mean, it sounds like a stock keyboard, but it sounds better than a lot of keyboards. Uh, we have what appears to be a plastic plate because it's an integrated plate. So, that opening up, I'm not really going to know much more about this, but I am tempted to do a mod on this because it's it's been a while. The last one I modded was a Red Dragon K551, uh, but that one is hot swap with a Temu, so it at least allows me to change out the switches to some Akko or Gazoo switches. Uh, with this, I I just feel I feel hampered, and I've got to say, what? Who is this for? Now, granted, there are people that you know. I'm sure that this would be more than enough for them, but out of quick curiosity. All right, so taking a look at the listing, I was right. It is a rainbow keyboard. It does it. It MSRP is for 39, but right now seems to be on sale for about 33 after you take off. Well, there's two 10% coupons and there's 5% more that you can add. Um, actually, so that should be four. Yeah, basically 32 bucks. So, I mean, that's not a bad price, but <sighs> how do I put this? I mean, yes, a Jam K67 can be bought for around $25. It is AliExpress. You're going to have to wait a couple of weeks as opposed to a day or two with Amazon. Um, and it does not come with switches or keycaps. And it's also a 65%. Some people, while yes, you can rebind keys, a 65% for some people is just not going to do it. It's not going to be enough because they need the full numpad. They need, you know, some people, I know I, I've gotten used to the single one use uh, zero on, you know, 1800s, but some people really like that zero plus it's easier to find. I mean, you still have the, uh, the tick on the five or the little bump that'll let you find the home on the numpad, but still. So it looks like we do have uh, three flip out feet. So we got three different levels of height we have drainage holes. <laughs> I haven't seen this on a, a keyboard in a minute. But yeah, those are water drainage holes. But I am going to at least, I'm not going to desolder anything, but I think that I can get a better sound out of this as um, it's not, it's just not, it's 
not awful. It does sound like that's hollow. And with these cutouts here, it looks like they're 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 probably using this um bottom case for a couple of different ones, but full size keyboard from Royal Clutch. Um, again, it's listed at $39.99. It looks like to be on sale for around $32. I'm going to guess they'll probably discount it even more, being that it's a rainbow keyboard. I'm just I'm kind of curious who this is for because, I mean, all right, so if I look for the Red Dragon K551, I see it here for $37.99 rainbow. So it's about $2 cheaper than this one. For the rainbow for the RGB, it seems to be $48.99. And that one is hot swap. Um, I'm not sure if they've updated this one to the new hot swap sockets. Oh yeah. So the new Red Dragon, uh, oh it's the K556, does have um, three and five pin hot swap compatibility. It's still north facing, but it's gonna use practically any switch. So you're gonna be able to switch it out. So, I have to ask, who who is this for? Because even at $30, anybody that's getting into mechanical keyboards nowadays, I mean, honestly, personally, I would prefer single backlight color than rainbow. Rainbow, to me, it's frustrating because... I mean, it, it, I just end up turning it off, but then that kind of is like, well, I've got no light. I've got shine through keycaps, but I mean, if it was rainbow and, you know, I don't know. I can't, I'm really trying to, but I can't justify rainbow LEDs, especially nowadays. And when the price per LED is literally, I want to say three to five cents difference between a single color LED and a multicolor LED. Now I do understand that they require a different MCU with a little bit more horsepower um, as opposed to single LEDs, but still. Now, yes, it sounds okay. Um, it's got browns in it and usually browns won't sound all that good, but um, perhaps it's because it doesn't have a metal plate that I'm not really hearing any pain because I don't know, but if I had to put money on it, I would guess that the switches are not lubricated. Uh, probably RK switches. Yep, these are RK switches. And yeah, they're definitely not lubed. I can hear it. I flick the key. We can definitely hear that pain. So, um, I don't know why that light just doesn't shine. I mean, quite as bright as the other ones. I don't know. Uh, we do have, let me see, are these PBT or ABS? I would guess they're ABS keycaps, but... Oh, and they do appear to have a wireless version of this. But the software says... Looks like the software has the configuration options that allow you to do the rebind. I'm not sure if they are... I'm not sure if Amazon is using... Sometimes Amazon you'll see reviews, but because sometimes... You'll see a listing for a particular keyboard, but I actually have like two different keyboards or three different keyboards. And sometimes they mix those reviews because I see reviews going back to 2021. So this could be like a refresh of an existing model. I personally have not become familiar or I've not been familiar with this particular keyboard. Yep, it does have the pro driver. So it's the RK that does allow you to do some key, key remapping and key binding. Um, it's probably gonna, it, has the profiles i'm very familiar with the rk pro so you got profiles but you can do some basic rebinding of keys um not really function combinate well it doesn't really have layers though you can do combo basically would this be nice with a pre-built pc yes this is going to be much better in my opinion than a membrane keyboard but and i mean correct me if i'm wrong but i think my audience 
is looking more for keyboards they can customize, not only with LEDs, but changing out the switches. I mean, with this, all you can really do is change out the keycaps unless you want to pull out your soldering iron and get to work on 104 keys. Plus the fact that it's corded. Um, just, uh, I like using my own cables. Plus, I mean, it does have a, well, it doesn't even seem to have support for tension. So, I mean, if this cable were to break, you kind of would have no other option but to go in there and open it up. Because it doesn't even have the, the boots they usually have at the end to protect this. Because, I mean, a couple of times of this sitting like this and bending back and forth, those cables inside are going to break. They're not very strong. They're tiny little wires. Um, so, ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be as as judicious as possible as I can with this. But um, the fact that it has a, I don't even know if that's PC or just an ABS plate. Are there such things? as I don't think I've ever seen like a plate that you could buy for a keyboard that was made, made out of ABS. Now, I could 3D print an ABS plate if I had the file or if I scanned it, but... I, I just, uh, I don't know. So here's a full size that I, it was one of the first that I went and went big time and modding on it. This is the K551, I believe. I did port it, but as you can see, it's not a, it's not the best of <laughs> jobs there, but it does work. I do have some Akko Radiant Reds in here and I modded it, it sounds pretty good i mean obviously the mt3 keycaps really make a difference here but at least i have rgb and i'm not i'm not stuck with the cord that they gave me i mean like this one i mean i've painted it yes it has i've taken this to places so it has a bit of road wear and i did not apply a um an enamel layer on top which I learned afterwards is important so that's why we've got some dings there I could probably come back when I finally do that replacement I can come back and replace this port even with this one I had the option to switch on switches without having to break out my soldering iron I do some soldering work here and there but uh, I, I like to stay at 65% or below I'm getting ready to do the TKL the new one the Keychron C3 Pro I am going to try to mill max that one because I do like the keyboard. Today we are taking a look at the Royal Kludge RK920, a full size wired corded rainbow LED keyboard from Royal Kludge. It includes shine through what I believe are ABS keycaps as well as Royal Kludge brown switches unlooped. It does appear to have an integrated plate that's either PC or ABS plastic, though I'm leaning towards ABS. It weighs in at 731 grams, and the chin of the keyboard sits at 18 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 23 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 5 degrees. Flipping out the first set of feet will take the back up to 28 millimeters and change the angle of typing to 6 degrees. Using the final set of flip out feet will take the back up to 35 millimeters, changing the angle of typing to 10 degrees. This keyboard manufacturer retail price is $39.99. One thing I take a look at real quick. What do these stabilizers look like? Well, they actually appear to be the better stabilizers and they're actually pretty well attached. They are lubricated, but unfortunately we can't take them out and really take a look at them. But they do seem to be the nicer ones. So if I had to guess, I would say that this is probably a refresh of an existing model. Because it does... It sounds much better than what I'm used to with stock keyboards. But other than that, until I open it, I really don't know much more. So, um, 
you guys have any questions, any comments, anything that you'd like for me to look for when I open this up, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test, the RK920 full-size corded keyboard. And um, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Uh, thank you, Royal Kludge, for giving me a chance to take a look at this. I don't think my audience, or I do not think that this really is um, geared towards my audience, but I'm willing to take a look at any keyboard to see, you know, what it has, what it doesn't have. The one thing I can say is that this definitely sounds better than any full-size keyboard I've tried in the past, um, pre built So, I mean, the stabilizer are actually pretty good. It's actually quite loud with these browns. But yeah, I'm, I am surprised that the stabilizers are pretty good. Um, so, I mean, is this a good starter mechanical keyboard? I guess. I mean, it, it, I would prefer this over a membrane. So, I guess it does have its place. Um, I don't think I'll be using it as a driver. But I will come back to it to, um, to see what else I can do to it with the limited... Um, ability to has because I I just don't see myself desoldering an entire keyboard and then either trying to mill max it or dedicating some switches to it though I I mean if I desoldered it the best I would probably do is just lube the switches and maybe add a little PE foam or something in between and then just put them back um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this full-size RK920. Again, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions for when I do open this up, do let me know in the comments below. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.